this really awkward, though. No, no, no. We've already you, gotten slagged, so. You make it awkward. We're okay. We're good. How did you feel it went for both of you at the weekend? Um, yeah, it was, um, you know, first game out. Um, a few things that we need to fix during the week, definitely. Um, not easy fixes, but stuff we're, we're capable of fixing and, and, and producing a better performance against Wales. I think it, it's going to go up a level in terms of difficulty against them. You know, they're, they have a game under their belt. We'll have a game under ours, but um, they're a quality side, they're Grand Slam champions. Um, so we have a massive game this weekend, but um, you know, there was a lot of positives from our, from our game at the weekend, a lot of stuff we'd been, we'd been working on um, in our camp in Portugal and, and leading up to this game that worked well, a few things. That would be frustrating, um, a bit of decision making, um, if maybe taking the wrong option at times, but um, the, the line breaks were there, the, 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 the opportunities to score tries were there, so uh, that's really pleasing. Uh, John, there was a lot of calls for you in the build up to uh, the Scotland game to start. How was that taking that um, to start from the bench? Was it a tough uh, call to take? Um, no, to be honest, it probably wasn't because um, I just saw I'm in a much better position than I was saying this time last year. And, and probably got into the squad last year on the back of a couple of injuries. So um, for me, I just, I, as I said, I saw myself in a better position than I was in the summer or, or then. So yeah, whatever I was facilitated for the team, it was, it was important that coming on, I hadn't probably subbed too often this year with Ulster. So for me, just to try and perform and, and ease into the team whenever I could. And, yeah, I was happy with say the twenty minutes I got. Connor, I'm sure you heard all that talk. You know, was it? Did you feel you had a point to prove last weekend? And was it difficult hearing all that talk and all the calls for John to start? Um, yeah, not not difficult. I think it's it's all credit to John. He's been he's having an unbelievable season, um, and you respect that. And, and as soon as we came into camp, it's it's about Ireland. And I know you know everyone wants to start. Um, you know, Lukey involved as well. But as a as a group of three, we're all working together. We're all trying to figure out this together and, and put ourselves in the be best position to perform at the weekend and um, you know I got, I got the nod last week and, and John and Luke were, were really good to me in terms of you know analysis or just helping each other with, with chats here and there but um, yeah at the weekend definitely adds a little bit more motivation you want to put in a performance um, you know people start writing you off and, and things like that so um, naturally there was there was a bit of a bit of that there but you know in our position, you know, having a calm head is, is probably one of the most important things you can do. So, um, trying to balance that was uh, was the challenge last weekend. Do you think you've done enough to keep your starting place? I don't know. I don't know. We we'll see. Um, you know, it was a tough game. There were, like you said, in terms of the team forms, there was good moments. There was moments that we can be better at, um, and individually, I, I feel that way as well. Um, so we'll wait and see. But it's an ultra competitive environment, which is. I said it a while ago. We've maybe there was times where it hasn't been like that in in, in the Irish squad, and um, you know you'd much rather it this way. You know, whatever about the talk on the outside, you, you you know it's there, but you don't. I don't see much of it. But you're aware of it, but um, you'd much rather have it like this with, with lads pushing each other really, really hard. There's so many good ideas and so many things we wanna we wanna implement into our game, and um, you can't just black, like have it all on show on Saturday. It's impossible to show off everything we've been we've been working on so it's about adding to that getting better at the the new things we're, we're trying to do and um yeah obviously this weekend against wales we want to play better than we did last weekend and and, and show a little bit more but um like i said the, the environment the new coaching setup it's really exciting um it's quite a fresh fresh feeling um, and people are buzzing around the place so hopefully that'll be reflected in our in our performances I understand what we need as a collective we talk a lot about the collective in terms of our squad and and I know how he wants us to play. We we did one on ones last week, and he just told me to keep getting the ball away fast. And like most teams at the moment, that's what we're trying to play. And and he just said he thought I could do it even better. So it's it's a work on for me, work on for all of us. It's it's obviously a different type of game we played to last year. And um, it's probably quite suited to the way we play up in Ulster. And I know Dan McFarland always pushes me to do that. So yeah, it's just each week now, just it's trying to improve that and and get used to playing with different combinations and and different people making sure we get into our shapes right and like uh, Connor said we've only been together for I think five sessions so yeah it's still early days and, and to go against Glasgow side or sorry Scotland side that play like Glasgow and um, you could see that they've ran that shape for quite a while so I thought on the back of that game we did pretty well to, to go against a team that have been together for now probably about two years.